My fighters put in work day in and day out to try to get to the title. They don't just sit on their ass and, and, and be lazy. My fighters are actually putting in work to try to get championships. Ricardo, they know how hard I work, you know. I work every area, man. I'm, I'm a mixed martial artist. If you think I'm going to kick you, I'm going to take you down. If you think I'm going to take you down, I'm going to knock you out. And man, I'm ready. I want the title, you know. I want to fight for the UFC being a weight title. That's it. My guys are hungry. My guys are in the gym every day putting in work. While, while TJ and, and the rest of the guys over at his gym are whale watching, you know, my guys are actually here training. The one thing I will agree with him is the whole Dominic Cruz thing. Like, yeah, he has to come back and he has to prove himself, but not against Marlon. Marlon's been putting in the work. Cruz has it, so. I mean, that's, what, that's the way I feel. Fighter needs someone to push him to be great. McGregor had Diaz. Jones had Cormier. And Silva had Son. Each series didn't just pit the best against the best, but it matched up rivals that had personal scores to settle. And when the octagon door shut, the bad blood reached a boiling point. Who will be the one to step up and put this feud to rest? clean slate and lofty dreams. But fight by fight, the talent pool shrinks, and only a select few will rise to the top in the UFC. You've done your part so far, growing your fan following while earning the respect of your peers in the octagon, stamping yourself as a fighter on the fast track to a championship. But even now, it's clear that this taste of success will either push you to greater heights or send you tumbling, making your winning streak a distant memory. Which path will you choose?